After studying drama in Paris, Kristen Scott Thomas landed her first film role in The Singer Prince's 1986 film, Under the Cherry Moon. Since then, she's established herself as a kind of epitome of British restraint in films like Four Weddings and a Funeral, Angels and Insects, and A Handful of Dust. But it is her role in The English Patient that is bringing her extraordinary attention, earned her a Golden Globe nomination, a probable Oscar, and praise from film critics like Janet Maslin of the New York Times, who said, The English Patient sets off sparks with the grand entrance of Catherine, played by Kristen Scott Thomas, in a great career-altering change of pace. Joining me now, Kristen Scott Thomas. Welcome. Thank that you. introduction. Uh, <laughs> let me just jump right into the movie mm -hmm. itself, though. Uh, the, you read the book where? When did you first I read, the read book this in book? in Romania. You were making a film in Romania? I was making a film in Romania, um, a film uh, with a very interesting director called Lucian Pantelier. Yes. I didn't know if you've seen The, the Oak. That was a really great it, film. Know, you know. Anyway, I was making that film there, and desperate for sort of all things exotic and warm and um, sort of, I don't know, opposite to Romanian. Um, and I, w I read this book and, and got to the end and was so devastated at having no more pages to turn that I just went back to the beginning and I did this three times. You read it? I read it three, three times. times. Cover to cover, yeah. Mm. And Catherine said what to you? Uh, Catherine said, you know, Catherine, Catherine wasn't really why I loved it so much. Why I loved it so much was the imagery and the, and it was really Hannah and Kip. Yeah, that affair. Yeah, because Catherine in the book, I find she's sort of ghostly and yeah, not she's really more there. seductive and more something else well, she's, in the she, film. Yeah, she, but 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 no, she has a really strong passion and really um, sort of uh, what's the word? Uh, she's really vibrant in the book, but she's not really there. Or, or perhaps I didn't see her. Maybe it was on purpose. Yeah. I don't know. Then why were you desperate to play her? Well, because then I read the screenplay. And what Anthony had done um, in his adaptation was to make... Um, it, it's more like a, a, a brother or a sister to the book rather than an adaptation yeah. of it because he has altered things in it. And he's, he brought out from the dark, he brought out from the sort of dream world yeah. Catherine Clifton and that suddenly she was there. You know, on the page with you, and that's what I, that's what I must do in this film because I just wanted to be part of it. I didn't know, in, in, you know, to what, how I could possibly be involved in this film because I wasn't right for Hannah. You know, what yeah. could I do? Um, and then there was Catherine. Tell me about Catherine, though, the, because we're going to see you as Catherine. What? How did you see her, and how did you change uh, as you began to prepare mm. for the role? That's such a difficult question for me to answer because these things I. I saw Catherine, I don't know how I changed at all. I don't know how I got to where I, all I seemed to be doing, as far as I was concerned, was saying the words. And saying the words in the right environment, with the right clothes, with the right person answering me, and the right person me pushing me onto the stage. Yeah. It was as simple as that. I, 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 there was quite a long process of actually getting to the first day of, of, of shooting, like the things I read out. I read a bit of, about the dead, not much, you know, a bit about women exploring the desert and yeah. women of that period and things. And um, I, I, I just felt I wanted to play someone who was, who, who just opened up, who was just open and um, assured and confident Here's and sunny what, and up. Yeah. And, and wanted everything. And, want, and wanted everything. everything. That's the only thing I have in common with her, I think. <laughs> you want everything. Mm, I think so. Do you? Well, you try. I think most yeah. people do, don't they? They just don't admit it. But you've got most of it, don't you? You have a I don't marriage, know. you have two kids. I have a lot you've of things. You've got a role that has catapulted you yeah, sure. to where you'd like to be. Mm. Yeah. That, yeah, and I've got lots more things to do. When you look at the performance on the screen, mm. um, what do you, what, what do you well, see? It's very odd when I look at the performance on the screen because I have a memory. You know, I have my my own film in my head of what we did when we were there. I think it happens every time you make a movie. It's like yeah. this. Um, and, you know, I can remember sitting on top of the dune um, with the crew around me and, yeah. and, I, and, and then saying, saying the words and acting out the scene and, and all these things. And then suddenly I'm seeing the same thing on the screen with this other woman in the way, yeah. you know, this sort of blonde yeah. thing. You know, that, yeah. that, that's my place. She should get out. She, the, the film 
Why do you think this film has captured such, other than performance and other than good direction? I mean, Janet okay. Maslin and all the film critics I hear, unanimously, unanimously, when we looked at film for 1996, selected it number one. I just think that it's, it's a story, the book was the same. Um, well, the book did it for me anyway. There was something so intimate about the writing and um, through the writing that became the screenplay and that became what we say to each other, i.e. The, 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 the action that's happening on the screen. And I think that um, it's, it's so, it touches everybody. There isn't one person, I don't know, maybe there is, but yeah. when you go to the film, everybody has different moments in the film where they just think, oh, moment of sort of enlightenment. And, and that's yeah. when, that's, it's, it's he's like, talking to me. He's talking yeah, to exactly. me about me and yeah. my life. He knows and, me. And there's he something knows my sort of, experience or his experiences. Yeah, just sort of intimate, but that just sort of applies to everybody. Uh, it's, it's extraordinary, the, the subject. And, and then, of course, it's so beautiful. And I think we really need that kind of beauty to be reminded yeah. about how It has almost an epic quality is. because yeah. of the small, intimate story set against this larger background sure. of the desert and the war. Mm. Roll tape, here is a clip from the English patient. Talking about this attraction between these two people mm -hmm. while we were watching mm -hmm. that, he's attracted to her because what? I think it's because she's, she just, she's the only one who actually dares tease him like that yeah. and see through him and see the child that is standing there. This child that's stomping through the desert, collecting things to stick in his book. Yeah. Um, and I think that, that he's just, he just can't resist. I think he's probably a terrible playboy when he gets to Cairo. I mean, this is this I get from the book, that yeah. he hang around in bars and, and things like this. And so, and this woman who is so unattainable because she's married to somebody else, yeah. because she's, she's sort of glamorous and comes from England where yeah. everything's sort of organized and yeah. and, and in the end an act of betrayal for her is unacceptable that's why she can't I think it's it's more than unacceptable it's just it's unimaginable yeah uh, it's just she just cannot she's physically incapable of coping with it I think she just feels completely she's the sort of person who would always be able to find her center and find her balance and then this this thing that happens to her and she gets drawn, irresistibly drawn to this man, sets her off balance and she just can't bear it, I think. Um, and the love for her husband is something that is so, so strong and, and has been there forever. She's always known this man. Would every woman like to be pursued the way he pursued her? Does every woman love the fact that someone is quite willing to risk everything and is quite mad I about her. I don't talk about every woman. <laughs> okay, but tell are you? Oh, I, I mean, is I mean, that yeah, such a romantic a sort of, it's notion a fantasy that overwhelms of every, all of us? I think it's this sort of, this idea of being um, rescued from, from the sort of boring, mundane world and being yeah. taken away to other places is... Um, Someone you know, who says, I want to take you away from I mean, it, every day. It's, you know, we write songs about it, we make yeah. movies about it. I think it must be quite deep, deeply... Uh, there must have been, I assume to make these kinds of things work, there has to be some kind of chemistry. I mean, you and Rafe had something. I mean, Definitely. Anthony said that he saw you almost like two thoroughbreds mm -hmm. uh, who were quite, as you peeled away layers, there was always more and unrestrained and all of that. I mean, they, it was like these two people mm -hmm. in the end in terms of the actors he had. Mm -hmm. I think that the, the thing that made it work for, for Rafe and me, and I think for all the other people sure. in the cast as well, is that we were both passionately in love with this story yeah. and these characters. And that it, I so wanted to be, to be Catherine Clifton, and he so wanted to be Al Marshy, that we were both sort of completely locked into this little... To be meaning what? You mean you wanted well, to make sure you fully that we, that we, fill the that vessel that, that is there? Exactly, yeah. And that it was, that it could be seen to be that the end result, that what we were going to give the director and the editor to put together was going to make the characters that we wanted, would want to see in and want way, to believe is, in. Is this a film experience that you'd always dreamed that filmmaking would be about? Yeah, sometimes it's like this. It's been like this a couple of times. Where else? Um, well, this Romanian film yeah, that right. I made that... Where you spoke some Romanian, I hear? I spoke all Romanian. All Romanian. 
um, but learnt like a parrot, you know, not very, yeah, right. not, not particularly clever. Um, and I think also in Angels and Insects, there were some times like that, which were, we just felt that the, that the piece was just flying. And um, it's, some, it's to do with the director and it's to do with your partners and, and how much you all want to do the same thing and how much you are prepared to tell the story as mm. honestly as you can. Here is another scene, English patient, take a look. That scene, what was funny about it? You well, said? this was a scene that we did for the audition and um, I remember sitting there on this sort of bench thing in this office and starting off the scene saying, this isn't very good, is it? And Rafe goes to me, it is, you're doing fine. <laughs> <laughs> and I was so angry. Yeah. Because, you know, I'd because obviously caught him out. Because, because I, was, I was doing the scene, I was yeah. acting, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, this yeah. isn't very good, is it? And he, he thought that I was being insecure about, you know, what I was doing. And he, so I, I felt that he must have thought that it wasn't very good, very complicated. But yeah. uh, I called you know, him out. He was reassuring you. Yeah, he was reassuring he was me or something terrible. Yeah. She represents freedom, we'd said. Mm -hmm. you know, she really does so. represent somebody who... I think she represents freedom b simply because she's so uh, sure of her own, um, her own needs and her, her own you know, w where she is, who she is, um, that she can just about do anything she likes because she, she, can, she has this, as I said, this sense of balance so that she could, she'll always come back to center. To, to center. To foundation. So she can really, I mean, she can, she can really do what she likes and say what she likes, and that's what I love about her. And she assumes she can always come back, there will always be a place for her because she's so something. Because she's so something. I haven't quite found yeah. the word yet. All right, roll tape. This is uh, a scene with Rafe. Take a look. You, about you a little bit. When you, mm -hmm. growing up in England, mm -hmm. uh, knew that you wanted to be an actress when? Well, it sounds awful, but I mean, I, I can't, I've always wanted to be an actress. I can't think of a time when I didn't want to be Why? an actress. I don't know, I suppose it's just showing off. Really? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe was it somebody on the screen that you said, that's who I want to be and that's what I want to do? And I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't, I, I really don't know. I mean, I was, I was brought up on sort of TV and, yeah. um, you know, and terrible sitcoms about children running away from home with ho getting horses and I don't know. And all this sort of thing seemed so wonderful and I, I you know, I was always, I, I, as a child, I used to write stories about other people the whole time. So I, I don't know, maybe I was you just... You had an imagination. I had a bit of an imagination, yeah. yeah. And then you leave when you were 17 or 18 to go to Paris. Mm-hmm, yeah. Um, which was, which people say to me often, what a brave thing to do. And I think actually it was rather a cowardly thing to do. It was Because you had been rejected some way that well, you... Well, I, I... I had wanted to be an actress, never really dared tell anybody about it, never really dared admit to wanting to be an actress. And then I'd managed to get myself into a, a drama school where I was doing a teaching course. Yeah. And I was miserable. I didn't want to be a teacher at all, but I'd managed to persuade them that I did, and so they gave me this, 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 this place, and I was just miserable there. And it was so difficult for me to be amongst all these people who were actually trying to become actors, and, and I just thought, no, I can't be here anymore, and so I went off to Paris to sort of sulk, and then I just stayed. <laughs> and what was the break? You got married, well, my you had two kids. Uh, well, I, had, I, I, I got married um, ten years ago this year, yeah, um, but the, I think my first big break was, well, it was, I mean, it was when Prince found me for... Um, How did he find you? Well, that was because he was making a film in the south of France, and he was casting to find young girls to play the kind of young mm. girls. And I turned up and... You had the look. And, yeah, I had the look that he wanted. And he said, well, ha have you considered, would you like to read for the lead? And I said, well, yeah. <laughs> of course <laughs> I am. And so I did, and that yeah. was that. And suddenly I was being whisked off to the south of France in limousines and having manicures and things. Yeah. I'd never even stayed in a hotel before I did that. So it was all very, very new and... And you were, what, 20? I was 20, 22 or something like this, 22, yeah. 23, something like that. Have you stayed friends with him? Yeah. Really? Yeah. And you've gone through all the sort of permutations yep. in his life. Well, I have no clue. I don't know yeah. how, what to call him. I've just, yeah, I I just sort of what grunt. What is his name today? I yeah. kind of grunt when yeah. I say, <laughs> right. you know, on the phone. Yeah. But, um, but you became friends and stayed friends? Yeah, 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 yeah. And what was next? After that was a handful of dust. Oh. Then I had a bit of a lull because I went to Los Angeles and tried to sort of see whether I wanted to stay in Los Angeles. And at that time, I didn't. 
um, and I came back to to Europe to sort of start from scratch. But I started from scratch, but with a with a, this experience um, of having made a, a, a you know having played a, a leading role in a big American picture, which was under the Cherry Moon. And so yeah. I, you know, I knew how to I knew the sort of how basically how to do my job, um, the rules, if you like. Yeah. Um, and so then I then I made a handful of dust, and that was that was my first. I would say it was my first really, um, which time when I really had to sort of work hard at at acting. Work hard at acting. Well, that sounds awful, isn't it? Yeah. Um, well, I just had to think more. You know, it was just hard. It was difficult. Really good fun. You said once, I don't think of myself as very intelligent. I don't think of myself as very articulate, which is exactly the image of you now. Sorry? Smart, savvy, tech. <laughs> and then you said, I'm not that at all, do you know? There, I mean, there's, there is about you a sort of extraordinary, but not just, ambition, almost like Catherine, to do everything. Yet at the same time, there's something else there. I mean, ambition is not all of it for you. I think, I think it depends what you call ambition. I mean, there's an ambition to be an, an important actress. Yeah. There's also an ambition to be someone who stays at home and looks after yeah. the children and yeah. you know the, I mean there's just two things that I and it's all a question of keeping them in balance and sort of juggling I mean I'm a juggler I'm not really yeah. an actress do you think this kind of success somehow is better when it comes for you the way it does I mean this obviously late is obviously a lot yes exactly <laughs> this is a Go late on, changing experience I mean, you're 35 36 37 somewhere yeah. you know and this is a late mm -hmm for the kind of stardom you and I are going to have, or mm -hmm. having, or experiencing. Mm -hmm. Is it better? I mean, are you happy that it sort of took well, the, the thing is that now pace that I have, it did? You know, I've, I'm, I, well, whichever way, I mean, whichever way it would have been, I would have always thought it would have better been that, better the other way. Yeah. Um, because that's the way we are, you know, we're all human. But um, I, 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 I'm, I'm thrilled what's happening yeah. now. It's what really do the children mean for you in all of this? I, it's impossible for me to, to say what my children mean to me. Yeah. They keep a grounding for you as you go through all this. Yeah. It's, yeah. Well, you could put it like that yeah. if you like. Angels and insects. What did that do? I loved making that picture. I think it was one of the best experiences I've had working on a film, um, working with the director, very closely with the director, um, working very closely with the other actors. And we were really a group making that film. Um, and that really gave me the taste of what it's like to work as a group. And that's what we found when we made English Patient as well, that everybody working in the same direction for the same thing. Yeah. It's a really great thing. Um, I loved that character dearly. Um, she's one of my favorite favorite characters. Because I love Antonia Byatt's world. I love her universe, yeah. sort of dark and detailed and, um, and, and these, the strange things that, that she writes about, like the wrists and, and all these things that I found again in, in Michael Ondaatje's writing, this, sort of, this interest with odd parts of the body and, and yeah. uh, strange imagery that, that I, I, I really love that. Take a look at Angels and Insects. Here it is. All right. All right. Tell me. Since you invite the question, how old are you? I'm 27. I've one life. And 27 years of it have passed and I intend to begin living. Not in the rainforest, not in the Amazons. The place is very much an inferno. But you will go there. My work is there, Matty. I know how to live that life. I can learn. I'm strong. I'm resourceful. I have not lived softly, contrary to appearances. You not heed me once the voyage is over. It's a daydream. No, it is what I will do. Matty, Miss Crompton. Up here, at night, there is no Matty. My name is Matilda. Look at me. I haven't looked at you.
I've seen your wrists, Matilda. I only wanted you to see me. I don't think that was all you wanted. Shall I stay here? Or shall I go back now? I should like you to stay, but it's not very comfortable. Tell me about the actor. Mark Rydance, he's, um, he's a theatre actor, and I, th I think the director is the right title, but he's, I think he's the director of the, the Globe, Globe Theatre yeah. in London now. And he might not make another film again? I don't know. I mean, I, he might take a long time to make another one. I think he found it a very frustrating experience. Because he wasn't in control? Or? No, I think it's because he didn't find um, that there was enough time. And yeah. you know, he's very, very detailed, and, but he is an extraordinary actor. As, you have no idea what you would do if you weren't an actor. No idea, because you wanted no, I'm afraid not. It's terribly <laughs> sad, isn't it? I just... Uh, I think more, the more I work on films, the more I love it, and the mm. more I think if I had to stop being an actress for X, Z reasons, yeah. I would like to do something in film. I'd love to be an editor. I think that's where it all happens, actually. For many of them, it does, in mm. the edit room. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. This is four weddings and a funeral. Most people, most people, as you know what I'm going to say, <laughs> think, can't yeah. comprehend why your character and the performance you gave didn't make you inevitable the one to be chosen. Here's the film. Oh, my name's Fiona. Um, I'm Gerald. Um, what do you do? I'm training to be a priest. Good Lord! Do you do weddings? No, no, not yet. I will, though, of course. Jolly nerve-wracking. Yes. Rather like the first time one has sex. Um, well, well, I suppose so. They're rather less messy, of course, and far less called for condoms. <laughs> I haven't seen that in a long time. No, I haven't seen that for ages. Yeah. What film have you missed that you very much thought was just perfect for you? A character. It's so funny. It's such a funny question because my answer is that I... The ones you miss, you just forget them very quickly. Yeah. So there's no obvious? Um, none that spring to mind. I'm sure there will be. Catherine would have home. been there if oh, you Catherine. had gotten I mean, I, if I, It would have been impossible. I don't know what I would have done if I hadn't been able to play Catherine. I really don't. I think I'm... I, I think I might have really yeah. gone and done something, you know, I would have done a sitcom or something after that, I think, if I hadn't done that. I mean, there's nothing, it, you know, it would have been completely different. I would have taken a real U-turn yeah. if I had, if I had lost that part. How are you, does all this sit mm -hmm. with you, this notion of everybody saying Oscar nomination, I hate brilliant it. performance? It's agony. Agony? I mean, it's agony because... I mean, which little girl, actress or whatever, hasn't dreamt of being one day yeah. rewarded and awarded? You were awarded. now where you always dreamed you wanted to be. Yes, of course, yeah. And? and it's agony. And it's, no, it's not agony. It's, it's not agony. It's just the idea of, 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 of I'm, I'm really not the sort of person to sort of um, say, hey, look, everybody, I'm rather good in this. Would you mind voting for me? I mean, that sort of thing just fills me with horror. And I, I, you know, just, you just sort of get swept along with it. And at the same, I mean, it's delicious, it's divine, but yeah. it's, 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 you know, it's very, very, very um, nerve-wracking. Are you happiest working? I love working. I really love working. I'm happiest um, with a, you know, with a with word somebody else has given me to say and a, and a camera. Mm. And a camera. <laughs> And the chance to express yeah, well, interpretation. Yeah, well, my, yes, it's my interpretation of, of somebody. I, I, I don't know what it's worth, you know, I don't know. But um, it's, it's, a great, yeah. it's a great privilege to be able to do what we do. Yeah. It's a great privilege also to have an opportunity to do, to grab a role 
that you know can change everything. Yes? Yes, but change everything in what? Change everything what? because it gave you a different... It, it was like going somewhere where you hadn't been before in terms of in very terms different of my performance. my acting. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. Every, you know, that was... That was extraordinary. No matter how much they appreciated you. Mm. Because it, uh, I mean, it, because to play somebody like Catherine with so much, um, who is so self revealing, I, I mean, not who is somebody who, the, the other characters I played, like Fiona, who you saw in For Weddings, and, and Matty in Angels right. and Insects, have all been characters who have been hiding behind things and, and sort of keeping everything quiet under wraps until. Painfully so. D Day. Yeah. And then at, one, at a given moment, they will then reveal all, and their, their secret, their personality that they've been hiding for so many years will sort of be released. But, but Catherine is not like that at all. She comes out with everything showing, you know, all guns yeah. firing. She's there. Right. And when you, know, she you comes like off it or the you plane, like and, and, yeah. yeah. And to be able to play that self confidence and, and sort yeah. of um, and kind of openness, somehow I had to get to that myself. Yeah, because you can't go there hiding things. And how did I mean, you get Anthony there? said that I was hiding a lot. I don't know whether I was or not. Yeah. Anyway. Well, um, but here's what else you've said. I've got to get out of here. But here's what else you said. You said that uh, somewhere that there was a sense that you had an idea of her in your mind. And when you began to work with Anthony, kind of stripped it away. Let's take this away. And yes, let's that's take this true away too. so that in the end, it is her beauty and her life force. Mm. which made her so naked and vulnerable to you. Yes, Anthony wouldn't let me do any of the things that I have been using for, you know, for my characters up until now in, in, in my work. He wouldn't let me use any of the shortcuts or the... Props. Props or the, the kind of veils. Yeah. He... He wouldn't let me put anything in, in inverted commas. He wouldn't let me... Everything yeah. had to be just simple, straightforward. Because well, he wanted to strip it away. Because he said, there's a wonderful quote in which he said what he loved about you. <clears throat> Better be good this time. <laughs> <laughs> it was that somehow that there was a laser right to who your, your inner being. Mm. That that's what you delivered. Mm. Well, I don't know about that. Either. You don't know about that? No. Yeah. What's next? Don't know either. You don't know. No, and that's I'm keeping, good. I'm keeping things sort of open because I'm I'm driving everybody mad. I know. Um, I mean, agents, friends. Mm, yeah. People who are waiting people for you to who, make a decision. People who are, are, are wanting me to, uh, and I I just I just want to go very gently now. Is it important for you now to choose extremely well? It's very important for me to choose extremely well, because. Um, now I've made this film, and it's getting the, it's getting the, the, the whatever, is, you know, people are loving it, and it's working very well, and it's, it's so good to do that. I can't tell you how, how many times I've made a picture, for example, my Romanian film, for example, which is a tiny little film, you know, and it's so sad when people don't go and see it, and, and now, you think it's... Because I, you know, I believed in it, and now I, and I really believed in the English patient, and it's like we all did, and 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 here is the film that we thought we were making, and it's working, and it's just the most thrilling thing, and I, and I want to do this again. <laughs> find another one. Yeah, I want to find another one that I believe in, and then will work. What do you fear the most? Mm. Sort of. I fear. Um, I don't, I don't know, kind of mediocrity, I think. But, you know, that's, even admitting that is pretty dangerous, I think. Because the bar is higher now. Because the bar is higher and... Yeah. More is expected. More is expected and more is expected by other people, more is expected by, from, by myself, yeah. from more, myself, whatever. Yeah. You, you demand more of yourself, they I demand, demand more of, of you. Mm. Yeah. Thank mm. you. Not at all. Pleasure. My thanks to Kristen Scott Thomas. Coming up next, the Cohen brothers and Francis McDormand.